two-dimensional Francis Ford Coppola inside a manila envelope. Sorry about that. What's up, everybody? Eric here, Tabletop Haven, coming at you with an unboxing. This one, this one I'm excited about. This one I'm interested in. This one is uh, something I took a real flyer on Kickstarter. I typically am pretty pretty tight with my Kickstarter backs and f how I feel about backing not necessarily unproven but just kind of I, I don't typically go for the kind of like indie publisher but I saw a decent amount of hype pre this Kickstarter then the Kickstarter happened and it was just like meh. like it was I don't know. I don't know if I saw any gameplays or whatever, but my thought was the price is right. It looks good. It looks cool. It's from um, an Indian publisher and creator. And I'm like, hey, I'm all about that. Like, let's get some new blood into the board game stream. And so here we go. I got it. It, um, like, it's been it, they pretty, pretty decent turnaround i think it was about a year um but anyway yeah i'm gonna get the omni tool and we can crack this thing open and see what's happening so what is this well first of all i don't speak indian so i'm gonna mangle a whole bunch of stuff anything at times i try and pronounce things the proper way it's gonna come out not the proper way and uh yeah as such we're going to get into it and uh, Karagar Etage, Karagar Etage, I don't know. I'm probably going to sound like I have a Spanish accent. I uh, I'm, I apologize to any and everyone out there offended by my massacring of all things Karagar Etage. Etage. Patron. I think that's an alcohol. Patron? I don't know. Patronus is a Harry Potter thing. So there's that. That I know. Um, but I'm maybe backer, like a patron backer. I don't know. But yeah, apparently there's some upgraded business in here. At least that was my plan. I got the upgraded version. So hopefully we're going to look into this and it's going to be uh, cool. And we're going to see uh, some things that are cool. So yeah, let's bust into it. The thing I liked about this Kickstarter um, is, again... Like the kind of just a little a little indie out of nowhere, like got a little bit of hype and then died off. But I was like, hey, let's do it. Let's take a flyer. Um, but they've been they went to Essen and then there was kind of a a gap in communication for a while. But ever since like things have started shipping out and things like that, they've been on it and um keeping up and but I think they were probably just trying to finalize all their final business that goes along with shipping out however many games so yeah here we go it's a smaller box than um not that i was expecting necessarily but it's not like like i'll grab rajan's here and you can see um you got the so it's not cascadia small but it's not like your ticket to ride big so it's kind of that middle zone but it's it's dense so there's gonna be there's some heft in here so let's see Thank you, dear backer. Look at this. Look at that. Should hang that on my wall. It's a pretty color. Your support has helped Karagari Taj come to life. Thank you for your trust, patience, and belief in this game. We hope it takes you on a fantastic journey. Thanks for making it happen. Please write to us at support Mosaic Games. All right. Board games are. Okay. There we go. We got an instruction manual. Um, decently big, but it also feels. The pages are thick. I'm gonna say 20. 20. Look at, look at this. 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 That's a 19. And then that's a 20. That's a 20 pages. I got it right on the day. Sometimes I get it right. Okay. So in this game, worker placement game, collecting resources to build the Taj Mahal. So you get a little history on the Taj Mahal in here. Um, the year is 1631. Emperor Shah Jahan lost the love of his life, Mumtaz Mahal, the chosen one of the palace. Legend says he was so grief-stricken he promised to build her a breathtaking mausoleum, unrivaled in its grandeur. A tribute in wood, stone, that would become a living symbol of his love. It took 22 years and 22,000 workers and Karagars 
artisans, and several elephants to build the Taj Mahal. Relive this historic period and this tabletop experience as one to four as you collectively historically authentic resources to construct one of humanity's greatest monuments and earn the Emperor's favor. Cooperative, but does have a solo mode, so cool, I will be able to get it. So, um, as a backer, I don't know, I got metal coins, I know that. I got like a resin figure, I've heard, I don't know that I've had a lot of things in resin, so, um, I heard they're kind of fragile, so we'll see if it survived shipping. But anyway, I'm going to open this up right away. I think the, the it's the board is puzzle piece together. Quality is good. Um, it's thick cardboard. Looks nice. Um, board size will be decently good. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, they don't line up exactly right, probably because I'm not lining them up exactly right. So... Maybe if I actually line them up exactly right, they will work better. That doesn't look right either. Okay, this definitely goes with this. So hey, so let's do this one and see how that lines up. Okay, these fit. All right, so here we go. This is going to be like kind of your the constructing of the Taj Mahal. It fits together beautifully, as expected. But there we go. So that's that. We got a little peel on the board here. So it's mildly unfortunate. Hopefully that doesn't become an issue over the on all the edging. There's a little bit um, this one as well. A little peeling up. So I'm hoping hope that doesn't become a thing after repeated plays where your board is stripping up. But we will see. Uh, okay, uh, we'll do the coins and we'll do the figure at the end. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Kickstarter few things on why I decided I thought it might oh look it's a pin look at the put the pin on there there we go I think this might be the emperor that um the emperor that commissioned the Taj Mahal being built got a nice felt bag I'm not sure if that's for the coins or if that is for something else um but that's a bag we got these things here, these I believe are like player shields. They look like they have a bend to them. Cardboard quality is fine. These don't seem to have the peeling problem that some of the corners did. Uh, okay, so some more cool things that the Kickstarter did that I thought was like, yeah, it's worth giving a try. The tokens, wooden tokens. Sorry. I'm learning. Not really. That was probably eight minutes of you staring at a third of my screen as a box. Wooden printed tokens. Cool. I like it. You can do different resources. It looks like you got like stone on there. It looks like they're not printed on. There's stickers on wooden tokens. Not a big deal. I'll take the wooden tokens all day, every day, even with a sticker on them over cardboard. So there's that. Then we have more wooden tokens with probably just more different kinds of resources on them. Wooden tokens are nice. I don't know, maybe those are going to go in the bag and we're going to pull them out. I'm not sure. I'm not positive. Here we got a, the uh, the lovely lady. The love of his life. Um, so there's that. I don't know what that is. These are cardboard. Kind of money or something. Not sure. Uh, we're going to get to these later, and then we'll go. There's a bunch of cards in here. So let's see what the cards are about. Cards are not shrink wrap, but they're also not card... Well, they're cardboard, but they're not card cards. They're like... These are card cards, okay? And these are card cards. But then these are more um, tiles. So... I think this is uh, your the building. So as you build, you're going to put it together. I don't think that's right. Yeah, maybe it is. But um, you're going to put these together as they go. Checking the edges on them. I thought I felt something, but it seems legit. So yeah, you got like 
you're going to be building the different things over the course of the now it says 90 minutes it seems i don't want to say light but it seems on the lighter end of worker kind of like collect your resources and build the taj mahal um so we'll see if how accurate that 90 minutes is how that fares in a situation where if it is a lighter game do i want to play it for 90 minutes um but i will let you know because i'm probably gonna get this bad boy soloed fairly quickly um because i'm pretty excited about this one i've been excited about this one for a little while and i knew it was like one of the next kickstarters i had coming in got a little bit of peel on here so um yeah i don't know hopefully the peeling does not uh become a major issue we can hope for that um but yeah so we got like level one level two level three i'm guessing like i think the game progresses in a certain way where you can um takes more resources later in the game to kind of finish it off and things like that um cards all right i didn't hate what they did so they just did a straight like little band around the cards they didn't shrink wrap them um that's fine that doesn't bother me in the slightest and it uh saves me from having to grade their subpar or perfect shrink wrapping situation um so yeah here we go we just got things it looks like you're turning in certain resources to get other resources to do things worker placement resource manipulation probably pretty standard stuff but we'll see maybe there'll be some little some little uh tweaks and differences that make it stand out um if nothing else theme building the taj mahal i think it's cool like you're an artisan building taj mahal uh coming from a place in the world that is apparently up and coming i don't know but apparently board games are starting to grow over there so getting in getting helping helping out a smaller company and seeing what we can do i'm i'm gonna I'll, I'll take a flyer i'll take a flyer i think it was like 60 bucks or something like that so the price was right and there we go all right now some of the upgraded components let's go we saw the little the little bag here we got uh coins silver and gold coins they seem hefty uh yeah i mean they're coins they have this kind of I can't tell my camera's bad but you know what their coins they have i don't know if it's writing or symbols because again i'm me and i'm a uh, white guy from wisconsin so who has not studied anything india so yeah there we go but we got silver and gold coins it looks like it's interesting i was gonna say it looks like some of an edge but yeah it does no i do i don't know the gold one looks like they have an edge. The silver ones don't look like they have an edge to them. So I don't know. I'm guessing that's intentional. It's probably hard to tell uh, lighting and everything. But there's like a small edge. I think about like a quarter around this. But then these don't really have an edge. So uh, I don't know. That's just, just the way they are. But they're hefty and they're good. And they're gold and silver coins. And they're going to enhance the game because metal coins do that, in my opinion, of course. They don't have values on them, so uh, I don't know what that means, but that's okay. But it kind of means I can't use them for other games. Uh, let's do the resin first player figure. It smells like plastic at this moment. He's totally intact. He's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's definitely not like a plastic. It's definitely... I'm going to have to look into that, because if I do choose to paint him, which, you know, that's a pretty cool figure. Worst case scenario, I can put him up there or something, painted, and he'll look cool. Um, That's a pretty cool figure, but it's definitely not your typical plastic. So I'll have to see if painting it strengthens it, weakens it, doesn't do anything to it, and then putting a sealant on it. And But yeah, that's a good... Uh, I like the figure. It's pretty. 
super pretty. And then, screen printed meeples, screen printed meeples. We got four colors, yellow, green, red, blue, your classic. But we got elephants, screen printed elephants. It's cool, let's check them out. Let's check them out. I should I shouldn't say they're screen printed. I'm assuming yeah they are screen printed. I was gonna say they could be stickered, but I think no, nope, they're screen printed. Um very classic. They're very I mean classic I say it is as far as wooden meeples go, they're wooden meeples. Um and we got a little like burger beeple screen printed. They're solid, they're chunky, chunky goodness. Chunky good workers will take those. And then a whole bunch of Taj Mahal pieces. They're not screen printed, but I don't think they're supposed to be. So, but yeah, there's a bunch of these. All right. Well, there we go. Um, my one concern is the peeling cardboard. We will see if after any amount of plays, if that actually becomes an issue or not. The box is really like solid. It feels like it feels heavy. I don't know what that means, but it feels heavy. Um, anyway, Karagari Taj. Um, I probably should have watched a video before this and seen how the creator pronounced it, um, or the designer, or whatnot. But I didn't. I apologize if uh, I've offended anyone. Um, but yeah, I am excited for the game, and I'll give you an, an after one-ish plays when I do get it to the table, and we'll see what it looks like. But um, there's probably not going to be a lot of stuff out there on this game. I think there was like 200 backers or something like that. So um, maybe, maybe this game will, maybe this game will make a dent. Maybe it'll do something. Maybe it'll, maybe, it, maybe it does something that's gonna pick up some steam. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let's see. Uh, it plays 90 minutes. I'm not giving you 90 points. Um, Video is 17 minutes, 17 points, 7, 1 to 4, 7, 14, um, 22 points. I'm giving 22 points if you're to this point in the video. Um, put it in the comments down below. I'll get your points, and uh, we'll see what happens. But anyway, uh, Karagari Taj, super excited. I will let you know what I think of it, and keep on keeping on. Keep on gaming. Have fun. Love ya. Bye.